you texting right now? You scheduling some dick? What are you doing? What's, 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 the, what's the move? You were just looking? That's worse. Who are you texting right now? You were just looking at who's text. I saw the I saw the blue bubbles on there. Who was it? Who's more important than me right now? I want to know who's number one in your life right now. Who is it? You were just looking at what? Better be pictures of me. It better have been my Instagram. Show me if it was me. And bitch, don't you scroll to another app. I swear to God, if you open another app. You want to be real? Be present. What is your name? Lana. Lana? Lana. <laughs> Lana? Lana. You're saying exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Lana. Lana. <laughs> Lana? Lana. Did I not just fucking say that? L O R N A. Lorna. Not even a real name. I see why you mispronounced it. Lorna? What's your last name? The Rings? Lorna the Rings? Whatever, dude. You fucking nerds. Whatever. <laughs> you drove 200 miles for me to sit on your phone? Were you checking directions for the drive back? Is that what it was? Mm. <laughs> what was that? That was just four vowels in a row. <laughs> Bro, British people just say fuck consonants, dude. Look at me and my ball. Bro, who the fuck are you people, dude? Say letters. You just dip on half the words sometimes. What do you do? I'm a buyer. You're a buyer? Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're all buyers. I can't even say it because... You won't even say it? Why? Is it people? Like, what is it? What do you buy? How bad could it possibly be? She just said something that was so not a word. <laughs> Aluminium? <laughs> Aluminum! <laughs> die! Die! Avada Kedavra! Avada Kedavra! Avada Kedavra! You're all dead! You're all so dead, dude! Oh, fuck y'all, man. That's not a word. <laughs> Aluminium? Where are all the extra letters coming from? You're doing too much. All the aluminium. <laughs> no, fuck that, guys. You're wrong. I'm, in, I'm, I'm thinking of the spelling of it in my head. There's no I after the M. Alum. <laughs> nope. Not gonna do this right now. You're not gonna. You don't have to make me look stupid. <laughs> aluminum. you guys, dude. You get one word right and you think you're fucking hot shit. <laughs> gay? Like gay gay? Super gay. Super, yeah. I heard the S. You put four S's in front of super. What's your name, man? Andre. Andre? Yeah. <laughs> you're the first white Andre I've ever met in my entire life. How old are you? 37. Sorry. 30? Yeah, are you 30. serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 37? You look fantastic. Yeah. Fuck. Dude. I gotta get gay. You look incredible, man. What's the secret? Semen. Hmm. Young dudes? Maybe don't say that. What's that? 
in their 20s to say that. Yeah, that's, that's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, young dudes? 37, you look great, you're in good shape, single guy. What do you do work-wise? What's the fun part about it? Money. Money? <laughs> you can suck dick for more, I'm sure. I don't, know, I don't know how much marketing salaries pay, but OnlyFans, I know, I know some bitches who have houses. You can sell feet pictures for more? Now this is interesting. <laughs> Have you sold feet pics before? Dirty socks. Yeah. Dirty socks? Yeah. You've mailed dirty socks to people? For how much? <laughs> Why are you applauding? You didn't have to like jerk off into the socks or anything? Like, uh, it was your, <laughs> you had to buy Christmas gifts? <laughs> What'd you buy your family? Socks? <laughs> Every kid when they were younger got socks for Christmas and they were like, ah, now it's an investment. Yeah, what scares you? AIDS! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> that was so rude and accurate. He's not fucking Freddie Mercury, though. <laughs> He's gonna be all right. Are you on prep, Andre? He is. He's doing just fine. Do you know somebody who has AIDS? I'm eight. My roommate had a scare, and she's here Sounds like she can speak for herself. Unless she's not strong enough. That's an AIDS accurate joke. Fuck you guys. Like, I brought it up. You know what's funny? I did a whole school shooting joke earlier, and you guys were like, ah! AIDS gets brought up, and people are like, this show is a nightmare. <laughs> Where the fuck is your guys' line? Got me shook a little bit. I should feel comfortable, man. I'm on a fucking set of Back to the Future right now. This is one of the coolest places you can get to perform. Forgive me if I seem a little shaky. I'm doing my best Michael J. Fox impression. <laughs> How do I follow AIDS, you guys? <laughs> Let me try to get out of it. Jesus Christ, man. Andre. <laughs> Other than AIDS, <laughs> what, what scares you? Girls. Girls? Ew, right? Some of them are annoying. <laughs> y'all are adorable, man. How, how, how long y'all been together? Uh, seven, eight years. Seven, eight years? I, I am a football player, female football player. You're a female wow. football player? Get the fuck out of here. What is that? For me? Shut up. Thank you, babe. Shut the fuck up. Is this the is the Cincinnati chaos? Columbus. Columbus chaos. No fucking way. So it's like it's like an indoor like arena league. No, it's outdoor. The outdoor? Oh, that's fucking awesome. What um what neighborhood park do y'all play at? You know what's crazy? When I when we were just in Omaha a couple days ago, and somebody brought up that they they have an arena team there called the Omaha Beef. And I was and I was curious. I was like, is, I was like, is there is there a women's team? And they said there used to be. It was like the Omaha Hearts. And I just I kept thinking about how much of a missed opportunity it was to not call the women's team the Omaha Beef Curtains. Like how this is fucking awesome, man. Hold on a second, man. Man, I just, I've had this on for five seconds. I already feel, I already feel like I deserve less pay. This is crazy, man. <laughs> it's no pay? You gotta pay to play. You have to pay to play? Man. That is the worst possible scenario. But you do it because you love it. What position do you play? D tackle O line. Man, it's crazy because you look like you hate sacks. <laughs>
Lesbian. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think we go for two. <laughs> We've been going for one, but I think we can go for two. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I, I, lo I love that you get to play a sport still for fun as an adult. That's, oh, that's the dream. Well, there are bigger dreams, but <laughs> gotta be a realist at some point. Do you guys get like a you guys get a championship and everything? Yeah, on ESPN2. On ESPN2? No way. Really? I know. Let me know when the playoffs are. I want to place bets. Okay. <laughs> Y'all got any trans players? <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> Cho ching. They're switching up on defense. <laughs> a couple as well? Oh, man, gay couple and a lesbian couple? Oh, shit. You guys don't even know each other? Wow, this club should be sued. They made a section? How long have you guys been together? Eight years. About the same? It feels like it didn't work out between y'all and y'all. And you were like, you know what? Mm. Where'd you guys meet? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? That's so gay. That's so gay. You can't even go to Puerto Rico and not fuck a dude. Like, even they're sexy. They're just sexy over there, man. You're both from there? Oh, man, you guys are worn out. Fuck. I admire both your strengths. And what do you guys do now? You guys are teachers? What, what do you teach? Uh, U.S. History in high school. U.S. History? Yeah. You teach U.S. History? <laughs> That's a job I didn't think immigrants would even want. Teach it the right way. Because you teach it the right way. You're right. You gotta get fired immediately. This is where I'm gonna feel bad. <laughs> Fuck! I never thought of it like that. You're gonna tell the real history. <laughs> All right. Oh, this whole table. Oh man, dude. I can't. I can't stop thinking about if they fought. <laughs> That's why she plays professional football. Well, she plays football. <laughs> she gave me a fucking mean machine jersey, dog, from the longest yard. She will fuck you up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She wouldn't fight fair either. She'd be like, let me get the strap. The strap, like a gun, how rappers be saying, yeah. Put the strap on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she got to to get to the bed. She got to go through tires. <laughs> so if you guys have a lady, you gonna do like the whole like you know like turkey bucks and turkey thing. <laughs> but if you could, it would be better just to. Do you actually? Do you know? Do you, <laughs> Hey, this free range. <laughs> Who knows each other? We do. Two and two. We're married and we're mother and daughter. Gotcha. Okay. Married, mother, daughter. Good for you. You both in my age range. No, they're not. They're not even in your weight class. <laughs> <laughs> what is your ethnicity? That's uh, hot dog. <laughs> so people want to know what you are so they can know how to hate you. 
Damn, that's a good point. Wow. I'm whatever you need. <laughs> I'm whatever you need? That's so funny. I've been on like, I was on the Latino Comedy Slam. I was on BDT. You did Latino Comedy yeah, Slam? I did a Latino thing. I did a black thing. I did, listen, this is great for Hollywood. Whatever you need. <laughs> The only place this isn't good is prison, because I wouldn't know what game to join. Oh, yeah. Who would you choose? Whoever was winning. <laughs> <laughs> so the Latinos would be like, hello, everybody. <laughs> would you do the Middle East? The comedy in the Middle East? That's the next place you guys are going to think about. Huh? I would bomb. <laughs> He's a real star. It's a him. She's not here either. <laughs> With the kids. Yeah. You have kids? I know that's right. How many kids do you have? A boy and a girl. Three and a one-year-old. A three and a one-year-old? You should be at home. <laughs> <laughs> Those are babies. I know. You got it like that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ruining the family since 1985. Yeah, she got a diaper on right now. Like, I'm going to do my eyes. She goes, here, put your number in here. And hands me a baby monitor. <laughs> How many months are you? I'm curious. Five months. Five months. And you're out like this? You're not sick or anything? Can I get you a drink? No. <laughs> you look great though. It's good. The pregnancy looks good on you. Who's the, who's the, who's the father? Oh, well, say it. His name is Cole. Cole? Cole? What's the last name? Oh, he sounds like a fuck boy. Cole? Oh, no, yeah, for sure. His last name is bad. What's his last name? Can I spell it? No, just say it. No, no. Go. I hope it's the N word. <laughs> Oh, no. I hope, I hope. I'm gonna need you to put some pads on, bitch. Y'all got a drill to run. Y'all got. Oh, go home with drill, bitch. Right. We'll know her family's basically that they like saying it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never calls him Cole. It's Mr. Yeah. <laughs> every, every time. <laughs> Engage. What's your name? My name's Kaylee. Kaylee. Kay you, well, you can say it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. What am I the Oh, hell yeah. Aliens. Aliens is a similar concept. I also, do you believe in aliens? No. no. What? <laughs> no. Dude. Now they teach American history, dog. <laughs> Every single TikTok comment is requesting me to do more red flag crowd work. Don't get me wrong, I, I love doing crowd work. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of the show. I get to interact with the audience, get to know them a little bit. But now it's getting to the point where everybody is coming to shows and just yelling out red flags. I'm kind of over it, to be honest. Why don't you do it one more time? Like, you're in Miami. Just red flags. That's it. Retire it. Do a whole show improvised about red flags and then retire the bit. And never do it again. It's like a red flag special. Yeah. Ah, right, fuck it, Miami. Let's hear your red flags. If you don't know what a red flag is, it's basically a warning sign. You meet somebody, you start talking to them, and something about their personality just kind of triggers like a warning in you that you're like, maybe this isn't the person. I should be fucking with So for the women in the audience, what might be some red flags for a guy? You say flip-flops everywhere? <laughs> well, you don't fuck with the beach? The beach is fine, but why are your dogs out at a restaurant? Your dogs out at a restaurant. Wow, hates dogs, everybody. This has been an experience you had. You went on a date with a guy and you wore flip-flops to it. Yeah, there was a dude who was like a 10. He was a 10? He had all 10 toes? <laughs> yeah. He was like, I can be educated, handsome, smart. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna trap this man. Hold on a second. <laughs> he was a 10. He was Ivy League educated. He's a good looking guy. Has a great job. She was like, I'm about to trap this man. <laughs> And then he showed up with flip flops and she went, uh, never mind. Are you out of your fucking mind? If he's Ivy the educated, maybe he knows how big of a waste of money shoes are. Maybe he's like, I'm just out here, all natural. Where'd you meet him? Um, we went to high school together. You went to high school together? He had shoes then. 
Matter? Where do you go to school? You go to Matter Academy. Matter Academy? What is that? <laughs> Sounds like he thinks shoes don't matter. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. I love how he had all these great things about him, and then she saw one little toe, and she flip-flopped on the entire relationship. Isn't that fucking crazy? The irony. Toes really turned you off that much? If there's an emergency, we have one. Uh -huh. First of all, if it's an emergency, he's not keeping the flip-flops on. She's worried that there's gonna be an active shooter, and then they're gonna be trying to sneak out the back, and he's gonna be like... <laughs> Or maybe he's more prepared than you think. So I know a lot of Latino women in here who could use a flip-flop as a fully functioning weapon. He's actually... He's actually concealed carry. I mean, so prepared for anything. Oh my god. I think you give him another chance. I would love it before y'all fucked, he put on socks. Like, that would make it so much better. Are you actively, like, a socks have to be off in bed person, or are you like, you don't care? Not it's not a deal breaker. Maybe his feet are cold. This actually is a great time to plug you guys on my Shark Tank idea. Because I've never said this before, and nobody fucking steal it. Because like, I'm a sock guy. Like, I, I don't like my bare feet being out. Like, I don't like flip flops, so I am on your side on this. But my thing is, it's like, if, if I'm about to have sex, I don't actively be like, oh, I gotta take my socks off. I keep them on a lot of times. It's just something I have to. Hey, what gonna fuck y'all anyways, okay? Relax. Everybody in here, oh, whatever. You can have your fucking hooves out if you want. But I keep mine on, and for a couple of reasons. One, my feet are cold. And two, I keep them on for traction. Which is what brings me to my pitch to you guys. I'm looking for a $900,000 investment. Uh, do you guys know, you guys know hospital socks? You know how they have, you know, like, they're, they have like, the rubber on the bottom, right? I wanted to get my own like hospital socks with that rubber grip on the bottom. So that way you put them on right before you fuck and it gives you a good, a good dig in. So you can just fucking really put in work. And we call them sheet cleats. Y'all can keep all that sexy shit if you want to. I fuck a 4240, okay? <laughs> Nobody steal that. It's a million dollar idea. <laughs> what? This is the real thing? Keeping your socks on helps you come faster? No, it doesn't. That's so stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That is so fucking stupid. <laughs> hey, if that's what's holding me back. Is that a real statistic? Yeah, it's like if you're too cold in the bedroom, it's harder to come. If you're too cold in the bedroom, it's harder to come? Yes. I don't know, I feel like I could come faster than Igloo. Like, ain't nobody stopping me. Talents. Did you ever see that guy again? Or was that the only day you went on the list? Well, he was just a friend of mine. Oh, he was just a friend of yours? <laughs> How convenient. You're single now? Um, I hope you find the shoes of your drink. I like that one. It's very, it's very anti-fetish. Well, I like that. So that's, that's exactly the type of red flag I'm looking for. It's something that she just like, this is something I can see being a problem for me down the line. And it just gives me the ink just enough. That's good. We're one for one. Who can, who can top flip flops? What's, what's the problem with that? Legos in his bedroom? Well, maybe don't fuck eight-year-olds in the first place. Maybe not. <laughs> Elaborate. Hi, he was 23. He was 23. And he had a Lego village in his bedroom. He had a Lego village in his bedroom. Okay, so you don't fuck with architecture. Did you ever play with him? Ungrateful. Was it, it, was, it was like a town that he had built? All right, sex aside, was it kind of impressive? It was a little bit. That's what I'm talking about, see? <laughs> Judging too much. Where'd you meet him? New York City. New York City? It's a lot of buildings. <laughs> Is that where you're from? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing out here? Uh, working. Working? Oh, what do you do? Uh, 
Crypto. Crypto? <laughs> I want to roast you, but you're going to be poor in four years, and I really don't want to, I really don't want to fuck with that. Oh my god. You, you mad at this dude for building imaginary cities. You play with imaginary money. Yeah. Fucking hypocrisy, am I right? That's insane. That didn't cross your mind? I feel like this wasn't a problem until you did your walk of shame barefoot. You were like, <laughs> where'd you meet him at? Do you remember? Uh, house party. House party? A real house or a Lego house? Right. <laughs> Why did it cross your mind as a red flag that he had Legos in his room? Was it just that? Did it come across as childish? Were they sharp? Were you afraid you were going to swallow some by accident? They were in his parents' house. They were in his parents' Oh, he still lived at home. Yeah, that's the red flag. It's not about... It's not about the Legos. <laughs> let me... Hold on, what'd you say to me, bitch? Did you say comedian? Turn these lights off right now. I swear to God. Why well, is the comedian a red flag? You don't like funny guys? I want to be the funniest one. You want to be the funniest one? You losing already. This is not a good start. I don't have a stage. What's that? I don't have a stage. You don't have a stage? I feel like you dance on one. <laughs> well, I'd be pissed if my stripper was like, knock, knock. <laughs> no, but instead of the noise, she just goes, Who's there? C-section. <laughs> Be nice to me. What do you actually do? I'm a makeup You're a makeup artist? It's not very funny. What made you want to do that? Were you good at drawing? You've always been autistic? Artistic. I'm oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I heard something totally different. Okay, okay. You're so funny? We'll see. You must be a good makeup artist because you're making me look good right now. Right, that was less of a red flag, more of a shot. Married men asking for escorts, paying for escorts. Did you sound hurt recently? What happened? <laughs> Somebody just checked their bank statement like a week ago. <laughs> also, how are you louder than me? <laughs> Alright, let's dive into this divorce. What happened? I found out three days ago my husband of six years, we have two beautiful boys, is paying for escorts. <laughs> How much? How did you find out? I saw the text message under the new update on iPhone under edit and delete it. Hold on, you can check those? <laughs> what was it? 300 per hour. 300 per hour? Do they do by the minute? <laughs> so I got 20, you know what I mean? Uh, um, did you see the pictures? There's no pictures and he won't admit it. He's saying it's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam? That means he didn't come. <laughs> this is a rip off. <laughs> I could have stayed, stayed married if I wanted to not come. <laughs> There's some married people in here. I am really sorry. That is the best genuinely fucked up. Are you guys done? Or are you, are you gonna stick with them? You're like, just don't fucking do this shit again. I already packed up all my shit and moved out. Woo! That's good. Cool. Fuck that dude. You strong woman, you go out there, you live your own life, you have the most fun, you want to and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fuck you for 150 to be honest. Right here, 
Do I hear 200? Do I hear 200? <laughs> what does it show up as? Like, what's like the receipt look like? <laughs> he had called words. He asked, what are your roses? And I googled that and found the website and the code roses means how much we're spending. Bitch, what if he was buying you flowers? $300 worth of flowers. He might love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did he even try that excuse? No. Ah. That would have been my go-to. <laughs> Dude, for an hour, they, they pick them themselves. It's for, it's, for an hour, it's worth of work. You get as many roses as they can pick in, in an hour. That's like a solid deal. Nobody fucking steal that. Your best friend used it? <laughs> Miami sketch. <laughs> You chose three hours to see me? Oh my god. It's just $900. That's $900. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. God damn. I'm oh, so sorry. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's a very good red flag. Thank you for being so uh, hurt. Thank you for letting us enjoy your pain. I, I, you, I, I wish you the absolute best, and he sounds like somebody I would have told you. Yeah. <laughs> but to manipulate him, mean, never mind. Forget it. Next. Men from Miami. Men from Miami? Yeah. Bitch, I think you're about to die alone, because they look where you at. <laughs> That's correct. We're in Miami. I'm already talking to somebody. <laughs> what is it that you don't like about men in Miami? They're all trash. They're all trash. <laughs> you're not gonna find your husband in here. You're alienating everybody. I've never dated a guy from Miami, so we're fine. Where do you usually date guys from? Anywhere else. Anywhere else? Yeah. Prison? <laughs> no, uh, your mom didn't yell out. You yelled out. I'm about to fuck your mom if we can end this conversation. This is really not. What is it about Miami men that you find trashful? Okay. They're toxic. They're toxic. Uh, no, but what's an example of toxic? You can't say general things. They like their cars better than they like their women. Well, are, are their cars quieter? I don't think it's a fair generalization. You said toxic, and then well, what's toxic about? All you said was cars. They make you sick, literally. Physically, they make you sick. Well, if you guys drank a little less, <laughs> I think you could. Be, I think Miami men go great with water. I mean, they swam through plenty of it to get here. <laughs> shit about Miami men. They fucking work their ass off to get here. <laughs> every, every Cuban man here is Michael Phelps. Everybody. Respect, dog. What the fuck? See, you caused a fucking glitch in the Matrix right now. Talking shit about Miami men. I thought my browser history was about to come up. Who's about to have to delete all that? Show's over, everybody go home. <laughs> Y'all coupled up hard as fuck. How long you guys been together? Six months? Oh, give it time. <laughs> that's, that's adorable. Where'd you guys meet? The club? <laughs> yeah, give it time. <laughs> Who approached to? You approached her? Yeah, you little creep. <laughs> what was she gonna do to have a fun night out with her friends? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Did he have any kind of clever line when he approached you at the club? She had the clever line. <gasps> you had the clever line? <laughs> well, what, what was the line? What'd you open with? <laughs> okay, this is surprising to me. Maybe not anyone else in Florida. <laughs> but <laughs> she goes, she didn't want him to talk to her, like I said. <laughs> and so she told him she was 17 and pregnant. 
<laughs> he was like, bitch, I always wanted to be on MTV. All right, bet. Let's go, I'm a star now, all right? Oh my God. So not only were you underage in the club, you also told me you were pregnant. As you took a drink of alcohol. That's the most Miami shit I've ever heard of in my fucking life. But I love that clearly he didn't care. He was like, I can help both y'all with your homework. I'll be with until now. Selfies with the tongue. Oh, lead with your best feature, I guess. Or with a fish. Oh, okay. You're on data gas. Hey, that's the red flag. Don't be on dating apps in the first place. <sighs> it's hard out here. It is hard out here. Not for some of us. No, no. It's not it doing okay. What is it about it though? Is it, is it just physically it's unattractive? Yeah. But you don't like when guys fish either, you said. No. You don't like guys who provide for their family? <laughs> do you have your dating profile? Yeah. I do have a dating profile. What's your, what's your app? What do you go to? I've never met anyone on You've never met anyone on the dating app? Well, that's sad. Can I see your profile? I gotta see this. Got all these standards. We're about to see. Matt, may I see your phone? Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. Photos. All right, first one is in front of a grass wall. Literally the most fuckboy pose. Might as well just be captioned, who's trying to pay my rent? <laughs> Next one's just a sexy kind of selfie, and this is actually a very good photo. Smash. Uh, let's see, the next one. This I don't like when a girl has. When it's, it's, it's three girls, all with their asses to the camera, you don't know whose profile it actually is. This is the, pro which, which one are you in this one? Middle, left, right? The left. The left? It's the least good ass. Um, <laughs> I know, you had a problem with <laughs> Matter of fact, bitch, your tongue is out in this photo. Are you fucking kidding me? With the peace sign. Oh my God, take your phone, you little lesbo. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hypocrisy. Wow. When was your last relationship? A year ago. A year ago? Who broke up with who? He broke up with me. He broke up with you. He was like, later, bitch. <laughs> now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. He what? He's begging for you back? No, he's not. <laughs> This is just like an odd question to the people in the back, but are you wearing pants? <laughs> Not at all? I work next door, so no. You work next door? What's next door, 11? <laughs> are you really not wearing pants at all? Oh, it's uniform, can I, can I stand up? Can you stand up? Damn! <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. You have a tattoo on your butt. It's a seahorse? What's the significance of a seahorse on your butt? Uh, well, My eyes are up here. <laughs> no, we're gonna beat me too, I don't think so. What's the, what's the significance of a seahorse on your butt? Uh, I'm a mom, but seahorses, the male, mm -hmm. is the baby. Hey, that didn't make sense. She goes, well, first of all, I'm a mom. <laughs> As you can tell, I've been cummed in. <laughs> she said, I'm a mom. And in a seahorse community, I don't know how educated you are. But the male seahorse is actually who gives birth to the children. But that didn't happen. 
<laughs> yeah, she said, unfortunately, it was me. Okay, right. who's watching this game right now? You got a babysitter? Is it with the father? All of the above? Did you fuck the babysitter? You fu You're pregnant too! Oh my god! Are, okay, are you, um, are you a seahorse or trans? No, you guys missed it, but she looked. When she laughed, she did this and it clowns. And she literally went, oh. This bitch almost hyped the football at me. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl yet? Boy. Boy? And canceled. Can't gender it yet. Canceled as fuck. Are you still with the father? Is this him right here? No. Oh, you're. It's not you, okay? I, I, I can see your outfit. You're not tucked. Trust me. I can see. Are you with your, your, your kid's dad still? Yes. Yes. Question mark? How long were you with him? Two years. How old's your kid? Four. Four? <laughs> Don't homeschool this kid. Were you seeing him for a little while and you got back together? Is that what it is? No, we're not together. You're not together. So you lied to me. Red flag. <laughs> no, fuck a red flag. Uh, Child Protective Services? <laughs> How old are you? Guess? You don't want to do that. You're from Miami? You have a four year old child? 16? Your name is Barbie? Go, Barbie! Bitch, sit down before you miscarriage. What are you crazy? Turning around, jumping, fucking chest fucking people. Crazy. So irresponsible. It's got a little bit off the rails. We started with red flags, and now I'm trying to fuck two moms. Per usual. Oh, yeah. What's that? Per usual. What's per usual? You getting off the rails. Me getting off the rails? I feel like you hit some rails before you came here. <laughs> Are you here by yourself? Yeah. Really? This is my dad and my mom. That's your dad and your mom? Oh, for now. Okay, you guys, you guys aren't actually her parents? No, for tonight. No, don't, you can't just rent parents. You can rent Yeah, I saw the documentary. I said, you can't just rent parents. She said, it's Miami, you can rent anything. Yeah, I heard there's a whole island for that. Are you gonna be fun or not, Miami? Are we gonna... If we can't do dark jokes, go see somebody else. Let's joke about fucked up things, otherwise they're just negative, you know? This is good, you guys came around. It takes a little bit of a push to get you guys on board, but it's fun. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck whoever said that. I mean, that shit is a bad <laughs> I just love a girl who loves quiet. You know I mean? That shit's so sexy. You, know I mean? you guys coupled up? Just friends? Yeah, I bet. Where'd you guys meet? Grad school. Grad school? Where'd you guys graduate from? Miami. What'd you study? Music business. And what are you doing in the music business? I'm an editor of magazines. Oh, you're an editor of magazine. Which magazine? Hot Living. What is it? It's called Hot Living. Hot Living. Did you, you call it something else first? What did you call it? Hot <laughs> Living. Hold Living. Hot Living. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> that's gay, right? That's, that's the gayest way to say that word, isn't it? So hot right now. This is, sounds so like Eastern European. Mm, so hot right now. This sounds, <laughs> when you guys came together, which one of y'all trying to fuck the other one, be honest? <laughs> you guys 
couldn't see it, but he literally went like this. He went. <laughs> Stay strong, gang. Okay? I actually cheated on me while You're... I was sleeping in the same bed with him. Oh! Respect, you know what I mean? How, how you pull that off? That's kind of impressive. It's fucked up, but it's impressive. All right, what's the circumstance? I was passed out drunk at a party. You were passed out drunk at a party. That's kind of on you. Him and my best friend. She and your best friend had sex in the same bed right next to you? I asked him why he said he was drunk and she had a nice house. She asked him why and he said he was drunk and she had a nice ass. Does that work? Is that enough? How did you, how did you find out? She woke up with his penis inside me. I kind of don't want to repeat that. Um, so she, she said the next day her friends had told her that she woke up with her boyfriend's penis inside of her. Was he asleep? He said it took about three strokes. He said it took about three strokes and he was good. Damn, so pussy was fired too. Uh, we're not about to pump shame anybody, okay? It happens. <laughs> to the best of us. Not me, but other people. I imagine you broke up with him immediately. Immediately, yeah. We were living together. I that. You were living together? Yeah. Fuck. And I weighed 220 pounds, and now I weigh 140 with a better appetite. <laughs> you weighed 220 pounds, and since the breakup, you've lost 80 pounds, and you a better ass than her? Can we see it? Ah, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough. I don't have any cash. Uh, <laughs> how much are your roses? <laughs> that's my revenge body right there. That's fucking easy. Yeah, well, congratulations. I, I'm glad you're focusing on you and working on you. That's what How long ago was this, by the way? Four years ago? 80 pounds is less impressive. Right? I thought it was like three months ago. I was like, damn! But no, that could have just laid in the sun. No, it did, man. They can cheat in Miami. God damn. Sorry. Your ex had a threesome with your two best friends while you were there? Life's not so bad, is it? If you think your life is hard, somebody's got it way worse. He fucked our whole crew. Where did you meet this legend? Asshole. Where did you meet this asshole? In West Virginia? Oh my god. So you guys were out of family or you? you know, what happened? <laughs> How long were you with him for? A couple months. Oh, that's barely your boyfriend. That's just a guy you and your friends were fucking. <laughs> I got a lot of you guys have some pretty fucked up experiences. <laughs> Usually these are a lot more lighthearted. Usually people are like, guys who live at home. But you know, y'all like, no, guys who fuck your whole family. Guys who fuck, guys who fuck everybody you know. <laughs> Miami dudes got a next level type of game. Y'all are fucked up, but kind of respect. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, does anyone have one that's not cheating related? <laughs> Wait, what? You have your hand raised like you went to school. What is it? Okay, Titties, you don't have to stand up. <laughs> you can sit down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, what's your red flag for a guy? A men's rights activist. A men's rights activist. Oh, bitch, you should not have said that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I gotta call my boy Andrew Tate. Hold on a second. <laughs> so you've dated a guy before who was a men's activist. I went on a date, he went to Stephen Colbert. You went on a date, he went and saw Stephen Colbert. He was on Stephen Colbert. He was on Stephen Colbert. As a men's rights activist. You fuck Jordan Peterson? <laughs> you fuck no one? I stopped, I stopped at 
Tinder. You on you went on Tinder. But did you go on an in person date with him? You did? Did he pay for dinner? He paid for drinks. He paid for drinks. Did you get dinner? But he paid for the drinks? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and did you not like it the night of the date? Okay, until we got to the men's rights activist work. He talked about men's rights during the day. Right. Hey guys, don't do that. That makes pussy so dry. First of all, don't lead with that on date number one. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't be on date number one. You'd be like, hey, you know who gets paid too much? Women. Like, don't open with that shit. That's not even... Being on the side of men's activists, aside, it's just like, don't even open with that. Have you ever fucked, ever? Okay, so that's, that's poor game on his end. Do you know that men die younger than women? Do I know that men die younger than women? I mean, if, I, if this conversation goes on any longer, I'm gonna kill myself. What did he say about men's rights that you didn't like? Okay, well... Like I said, oh, again, women, you know, women live longer than men. And like, and that's a problem. And I'm like, women live longer than men because men fuck men over. Like, this is not a, this is not a women's issue. I'm not an attorney, but it feels like you lost this case. <laughs> He's so, <laughs> sit down. Because the only the example that she gave was she said he told her, you know, women live longer than men. And she didn't like that statistic. Because women rely on a whole group of people. Men only rely on like their wives and they're just it's a How he blamed women. You just said he listed a statistic. This is how life is better for women. Oh, he said that life is better for women and that's why they live longer? That's what he said? Because it sounds like I said it because you didn't say it. It's women's lives aren't so bad because women live longer. Gotcha. Okay, so all in all, she said, he said, women live longer than men because women have an easier life than men. This is going to be fun. This is going to be the show. God damn it. Men do work more with dangerous jobs. That's the real thing. More men commit suicide. More men are in prison. <laughs> <than those women. laughs> Did you don't sit down right now? I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. Because I know one bitch who ain't gonna live that long. It's just been so full of time. I love how you think men don't have a hard life and you making mine miserable right now. <laughs> Men and women both have fucking very hard lives. I'm not on either side of that. Both of them are very fucking. Can anybody talk man's face? <laughs> Maybe something a little bit more lighthearted, you know? Maybe not. I like, I like, what was it? When your friends find him on hinge. When your friends find him on hinge. Alright, now, you met him at a bar. You dated for six months. Your friend was on hinge. And she saw his profile on there. Now, does she know that it's not a previous profile? Maybe you've to deactivate his account? He said he was active today. It said he's active today. Maybe he was going on there to be like, man, if all these girls aren't as good as the one that I'm doing. You don't know that he wasn't. You don't know that he wasn't. He could have been on there being like, damn, I'm on the lawn. Look at all of these. Did, now, did you just straight break up with him over that? No, there were many other red flags. I knew there was a deeper issue. <laughs> what was the main factor in ending the relationship? Obviously, he did this one shady thing that you were unsure about, but that happens in relationships all the time. It's misunderstandings, and you're just like, I don't know the full truth, so I gotta just move past it. What was the final straw? Dishonesty. Dishonesty about what? About being on him. So it was the final straw. Where's your dream scenario to meet a guy? If, you really, if your life was a fairy tale, where would you like to meet a guy? At the improv? At the improv? <laughs> Look, I, I'd love to date you, but men just statistically don't live that long. <laughs> I'm 
I'm really trying to help my blessings, you know what I mean? We got a little moment. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, Stephen Colbert? I will do something from this side. Nobody, nobody from this side. Calls his mom more than you. Calls his mom more than you. Well, yeah. It's his mom. He can't love his mom. Oh, stop touching this dude. Is this your boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> hey, man, I wouldn't scoot over. She's next to a dude who looks like he'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, who are you here with? They're in the bathroom. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> who's, this, who's this gentleman with you at the table? He's my driver. I'm her driver. Her driver? Who are you? <laughs> Is you Batman? I'm your driver. I'm a smart girl. You're a smart girl? It sounds like you're an alcoholic. <laughs> a smart girl would go, I've had enough tonight. I can drive home safely now. <laughs> and then you're like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna not remember. <laughs> so you take care of me. What is happening over here? Have you guys met before, or is this purely like just met from professionally in this evening? Uh, <laughs> on this episode of When Fucking Your Uber Driver Goes Wrong. Hey, is this dick five stars though? One time? That's too many! <laughs> Bitch, you better Uber pull out. Oh my god! So you call your booty call your driver. I'm loving this dynamic right now. This is the most Miami shit I could have possibly experienced. It's something I'm getting. <laughs> Sit down, bitch, you drunk. You can't drive. Where are you going? God. Oh, there's the friends. Holy shit. Y'all have missed a story. Did you know your friend drives for fake taxi? He's my driver. He's your driver, too? Dog, run! Dog, run! Oh, no! Oh, no! I hate this city. <laughs> Y'all are rambunctious, dog. This is the drunkest person. I'm not done. Sorry, sorry. Do you want me to talk? Do you want me to talk to you the whole show? Talk to her the whole show. Oh, Does anybody understand tequila? Does anybody? Where is your boyfriend? He's at home. He's at home? <laughs> Living his best life? <laughs> He's at home right now, like... Is it just me, or is it not annoying as fuck? You don't know? Huh? Huh? Got it. I hate Miami. You guys were fantastic. Uh, all, all but one of you were so much fun. You having a time, I hope? Yeah, I love you, though you're great. That was the least convincing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, I love you. You're great. You are super sweet, too. Y'all city is fucking wild. I hope you... Waves. I went to 11 twice. Bro, what the fuck is this place, dog? They're open till 10 a.m. Stop cheering, this isn't promo. You guys have a problem. Oh my god. You guys are so toxic that I'm like, here's your city's problems. And you're all like, Whoa! You guys are so funny. What's up? Oh. You guys cheer, but I had to get my ass ate to get this. Eleven's a different beast, dog. Oh my god. I love you. Wait, 
<laughs> what did you say? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that your boyfriend? So confusing. <laughs> Usually crowd work for a show. I imagine most of you came from fucking TikTok, so I imagine. So usually on TikTok, how you see crowd work goes, you're like, banter, 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 details, funny response, banter, banter. But you guys are like, nah, fuck all that. You want to talk to us? Psych. Open our channel, open our channel. Where's your voice? Overnight channel, overnight channel. Oh, you watch the overnight channel? Yeah. So. Oh, for ghosts and stuff? You believe in ghosts? Bitch, <laughs> on the fucking show, you know. What? I said the ghost show, yeah. and then you went, see. Yeah. And then I said, do you believe in ghosts? And then you went, no. <sighs> no. 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 I've never hated a certain square footage. And he's sleep. I was thinking more like duct tape. <laughs> Ma'am, next, 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 to, next to those girls, ma yes, the one dressed like Hamburglar. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was the first thing that came to mind. I'm so sorry. Can you please stand up so I don't think I'm an asshole? Like, it's so spot on. I love you so much. I was watching you the entire show and like your reactions were half like laughing at me and then with them, so it would be like, uh, it'd feel like a combination of like, <laughs> So, thank you for coming to the show even though I didn't have to say Beetlejuice three times. You're so sweet. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm also a size nine and a half if you have any shoes in the back of Foot Locker. Right there. Got to come to Kansas. Are you from Kansas? Oh, that's why you're so wholesome. Not a beach or a boat in sight. Oh, she said Tampa? Oh, yeah, fuck Kansas. I was being so nice. I was like, oh, yeah, Kansas, totally. Now, fuck that state, dog. Even Mother Nature is like tornado every year. Just like... Here's the thing. Um, we have to get out of here in a second because I've got a table at 11. I am kidding. Are you out of your fucking mind? You've been going up to 11 a third time. That's great. What is it? Third time's the charm. Yeah, I would like to not get chlamydia. It would be awesome. We do have to get out of here in a moment. But if anybody wants to like shake hands or take pictures after the show, we'd love, we'd love to come say what's up. We'd love to meet you guys. We'll do it. Uh, I think we usually do it like here on stage. So with. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't me. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. but like she was awful <laughs> look can't wait to meet you guys um very fun uh with i'm not chris rock bitch this ain't the oscars i'm ready bro can i catch that one handed am i spider-man <laughs> see i don't even have to go to 11 to catch something isn't that great oh my god is this from you that's so sweet. Thank you. So can, can I read it or do you prefer I do it on my own? Either way, it's fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, dear Mr. Bieber is scratched out. Right. Uh, firstly, my condolences for the loss of your grandpa. Thank you. Uh, your fans have felt his warmth through your jokes and the stories you will resonate. Very sweet. Um, secondly, happy anniversary of the release of OnlyFans. Th is it today? Yesterday. It was yesterday? My first special came out yesterday? I didn't even realize that. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, third, what that dick do. I wanted you to have something to connect you to your grandpa, memorialize your achievements, and show, uh, show your hometown how far you've come. 
and the John Deere tractor is in the mail. <laughs> I'm from the middle of nowhere, Ohio, so I don't know if everybody knows that. Uh, the, uh, the, club, uh, the club's dumpster didn't have the making for a Ouija board. <laughs> right reference. Uh, I couldn't build you a bear and security confiscated the pocket pussy. <laughs> What's wrong with yours? This won't live up to your uh, potato salad, but please enjoy. Good luck with your next special and happy holidays. Warmly, Ginger. Oh, P.S. This bitch in front of me won't shut the fuck up. How'd you know? Can I open it? What is it? If it's anthrax, this is not okay. Oh, it's taped on that fucking head. God damn. You have nails? Could you open this for me? Thank you. Dale, that taped on it. What's in it? Give us a second. Talk about something else. Yeah, let's talk about something else. What's up, Ginger? So sweet. Thank you so much, man. I don't know what it is yet, but thank you for at least the kind words. We really appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You deserve that. Let's see. Your Fuck. It tore the paper. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, here we go. Got the more you rip it, the. Oh. <laughs> it's a lunchable. <laughs> Ginger, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Ginger, everybody. Miami, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Ginger, I love you. Thank you so much. That's the red flag. I'm just trying to come up in this game. Fortune and fame, a legacy attached to my name. Anything slowing up my bank.
they're aggressively I'm creepy. Like, well, I called you a good girl. I called you a good girl. That's that's, that's kind of hot. Also, this is two women already. I feel like firefighters get hella ass in the morning. What was your experience? You just didn't, you didn't like him coming on that strong? Yeah, I gave him my number, but then mm. after a while, I was like, no, Where'd you meet him at? I didn't meet him. You what? <laughs> what time did you give him your number? Tinder. Tinder. Bitch, that's the red flag. How crazy is that? I'm sorry you had that experience with that probably fun guy. <laughs> What's what's the, what's the ethnicity of your husband? White. He's white. Lucky. He's what? Lucky. Lucky. Is that what you said? Oh, All right, bitch, you're not gonna dick shame me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, think about hoes in Nashville. I bet your pussy smell like Copenhagen long cut, okay? <laughs> you're not Light up shoes? I do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're so bright. You're welcome. Was that? I said you're welcome. You said you're welcome? Yeah, thank you for bringing Christmas lights on your feet. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you click your heels together three times, you go back to Dayton. How cute is that? <laughs> can I see it? Can I see it so they understand? Can you take, can you, are you able to take one of them off? Or both? Forever? <laughs> Look at this kiosk motherfucker right here. 
You buy these at the same kiosk, you can get your phone screen fixed for $7.99. <laughs> you got those on Amazon? Give them back. Free return policy. Read the shirt. What'd your show say? Put your balls all over me. It's Christmas. I feel like you can't wait to have your chimney come to him. That's why you're. Oh my god. It's been a hard year. It feels like you've learned nothing. What? Did you say I had my whore phase in the Marines? Yeah, that's what I want my soldiers doing. <laughs> How'd you get those hostages back? Well... Uh. <laughs> soldiers are army, Marines are Marines. Well, those shoes are awful regardless. So <laughs> those can't be service mandatory. <laughs> what did you do in the Marines besides suck dick? Circumcise. Circumcise. <laughs> oh, it's Semper Fi. Sorry, sorry. Different one. Different one. Sorry. I didn't know. What's your name, bro? Corey. Corey? It's a very white name. Um, <laughs> it's, it's short for something? What's it short for? I think it's still very white. Even what it's short for is white? It's Cornelius. Cornelius? <laughs> Yo, what? Bro, you can't even say the N-word, if I'm being honest. You can't. You don't get to say it. Cornelius! Ain't that the motherfucker from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Who's like, Silver! <laughs> Dog, your credit score 900. Shut up. Oh my god. It throws them for a loop. It does. It throws everybody for a loop. <laughs> How many job interviews have you gotten over the phone? I, I've never been. I've never been declined. You've never been declined. That's why. Enjoy white privilege, Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't so bad, right? It's kind of cool. <laughs> I fuck with you, Corey. My dude. What do you do for work? I work for the water authority. Did you go to college for that? Nope. You didn't go to college? There's the black. I did go to school for a little bit to be a cop, though. You went to school to be a cop? Back to white. Interesting. And why'd you, why'd you bow out? Politics, and I was a better criminal. I asked him why he stopped going to training to be a cop. And he goes, politics, and I was a better criminal. Back to black. Who are you, Cornelius? <laughs> You're a mystery, bro. I feel like if we smoke together, I'll be like, are you even really here? Do your cookies? Do I want what kind of they? Chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Oh my god, it could be edibles. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. <laughs> Can you guys feel my jokes? Be my fucking nightmare, bro. <laughs> it is very good. Where are you from? Crumble. Is that like a local Chicago place? No. It's a, it's a chain. Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? And I heard they Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does.
just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray even once. There's a cutter, a cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. <laughs> Anybody else see this picture moving? This shit really kicked him, but I freaked the fuck out, bro. Anybody gay? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? <laughs> Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate shit. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Carl. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Actually, my best friend. Your best, you let your best friend pick your name? Yeah. Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, "Your name, Baby Dick." From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How'd you How'd you land on Axel? Building a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you're building a transmission. But that's a... <laughs> Yo, I was like, where is it? I know there's something in there. <laughs> Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some. We should go get some bitches after this. <laughs> Let's go. I had a four-seater go, so I'm down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation biologically. Okay, gotcha. Why didn't it work out? You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? I've known him for 10 years. No way. No way! Fuck you! What's up? You have a stage name? My name is Gunner Down. Gunner Down! Oh my god! You and your 9mm? Uh, with Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. What, what happened with your ghost story? Uh, I was in Monterey, Mexico. Monterey, Mexico. You look like you're not from there, so visiting. <laughs> Mexico City and I was driving back to uh, Kansas. And I went through Monterey. I was in a I was in a hotel room that night in our room. I was with three other people, also witnesses to this event. Mm -hmm. And there was a probably like an eight foot figure in our room. There was an eight foot figure in your room? Yeah. Mexicans are not that tall. So instinctually, you're like, that's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Unless it was just like two of them in a trench coat. Like, you know, you, know, you, know, you know when kids are trying to get into an amusement park and they're just fucking... <laughs> One adult, please. Okay, so you saw, you saw this tall-ass figure. Okay. That's a true story, man. That's the end of it? No. Okay. 
going. So, it definitely it made an indescribable sound that I cannot. It made an indescribable sound? You mean Spanish? This was just housekeeping. And he, <laughs> he, he woke up at 9 a.m. and just heard, I clean. Ah! <laughs> Dia de los muertes! <laughs> so it made this sound. How would you describe this sound? A whisper scream? Was it the ghost of the Yin Yang twins? What the fuck? <laughs> and then did it just disappear? Did it walk away? It levitated over the bed. Oh my god! It levitated over the bed? It, all right, so it levitated over the bed and you were like, ah! 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 <laughs> Please don't! <laughs> could you guys in the back hear what happened? You can hear the story okay? I right, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, basically he was in Mexico, he was doing some gay shit with his friends. And, uh, scared him a little. Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a Black History fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white girl. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soccer, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? They he invented the super soaker? No way! Wasn't it Lonnie what? What is it? Lonnie Johnson. That's wrong. That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the super soaker, man. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What's, uh, what's, another, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're gonna keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. <laughs> y'all dude that's a good joke man <laughs> Dude, can we end on a fun third does anybody have another one nope <laughs> not looking good connecticut <laughs> we've heard enough <laughs> what's that it used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month black history month used to only be a week long yeah. and then a president changed it to make to make it the whole month yeah. the shortest month yeah <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> I do want to know this, actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro. <laughs> yup. I was gonna give it a second. I was gonna say the same thing, bro. I was gonna act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. This is my security in case any of y'all on your Will Smith shit right now. Like getting offended and running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. Cause yeah, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> That's such a cool skill, man. This is like you solve an imaginary Rubik's cube. <laughs> Just killing shit. Is uh anybody gay? <laughs> anybody at all? Vicinity. <laughs> I know you're good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, dog. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> oh, 
You're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. Oh, the sacrifice. The fuck? Did, did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. Who um who who are you signing for? I don't I don't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said back there. <laughs> no, it is not you, bitch. You've been here on the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you um? How did you hear about the show? Um, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. Yeah. Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> everybody be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. Super Bowl. Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? <laughs> you didn't know this was deaf comedy jam, did you? You didn't know. <laughs> There's also police officers here. I met a uh, officer Swindell. Did you meet Officer Swindell? Oh, is that his wife? This is him. Oh man, he said you take forever to come. He said that before the show, and he dared me that I wouldn't say it at the show. You seriously gotta work on that. That's his trigger finger, and they really like he's got a. Oh man, now he said you guys have great sex. He said he beats it up like you fit a description. He really does. No, he said sometimes he lets her wear the bulletproof vest and everything. <laughs> like, they won't play. She puts on the bulletproof vest and then she's a teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not one of your students. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's not even the last school shooting joke of the show. I lived in a crematory. You lived in a crematory? I, yeah. My old apartment was a crematory. Why do you know that? <laughs> Who the fuck just knows that statistic? Nerd. It's right next to a nursing home? <laughs> the convenience. <laughs> Beth. There's a cemetery by the Children's Hospital? Come on, Pennsylvania. Have a fucking heart, man. You do not put a cemetery next to a fucking Children's Hospital. You put it next to the school. You I told you there was one more. I fucking told y'all, man. I didn't know where or how it was gonna go, but we fucking, we found it. <laughs> All right, that's the last one. Probably. Anybody ever seen a ghost? Yes, I have. I have back here. I hey, <laughs> there's six of us in here? I saw you, okay. Me, 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 What's, what's your? I actually have a demon in my closet. 
That's how you win a breakup. That's how, that's how you do that shit. It actually almost got into bed with her. Actually, it almost got into bed with her? Spanish. <laughs> In Spanish. I thought I heard it going out, but then the covers behind me lifted up and dropped back down, and I couldn't. You had a monster come to the foot of your bed. It was mumbling some kind of language you didn't understand, and then you thought it went away, and the covers beside you in bed lifted up and then let back down. You farted. Shut up. Oh my god. Nice try. Ugh, smells like eggs in here. Must be a demon. I think our house is haunted, bro. Do you hear that grumbling? Yeah, bitch, that's your guts. You sick right now. Backtrack. Hold on. How did your how did your ex send a demon to you? He did like witchcraft stuff. He did witchcraft? This is already on you. <laughs> At what point in this relationship was he like, I'm a witch? Also, real quick, aren't males wizards? Yes. So he, was a, he was a wizard. You, you, he threatened to kill you. Why? Because I broke up with him. Valid. Well, I broke up with him the day before the year anniversary. A day before the year anniversary? Come on, bitch, you couldn't have waited two more days? You couldn't have had the anniversary and then one day after be like, that was really fun, but... I feel like it would have been worse if I celebrated the year with him and then broke I don't think so. I think he probably had some shit planned, maybe a sacrifice for the, for the one... You don't look like a virgin. I don't think it was going to be... How was the dick, though? That's why you make a deal with the devil, right there. Like, I'll sell my soul for just six, Lord. I swear to God. Please. <laughs> I've never seen a demon. I don't imagine. Have you seen an angel? Um, yes. I actually saw one. <laughs> I keep hitting you with shit that I'm like, this is the end of the conversation for sure. I just saw one too. Demon, I meant. I mean, a demon. That girl looks like she'll suck your soul out. <laughs> Just in case. Take my belt off? If I do, will you hang yourself with it? I've never been more sure somebody's from Miami in my fucking life. I'm actually from Houston. Worse. Dry Miami. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. What school you go to? Rollins. Community College. Yeah. It's a private school? Sorry. Just say you came from money. Just say that. When is Paltrow's jury selection team? Is that a real thing? No. Wasn't she selling pussy scented candles? She's a what? Blog and holistic stuff. Now. She's a blog? It's called The Goop. Goop. The Goop? That sounds like what she should name her pussy scented candles. <laughs> I wish I had been more up to date on that trial. It's all over TikTok. It'll all come up on your phone now that we've talked about it. That's fucking scary. <laughs> oh, way worse. Women's basketball. <laughs> What's that? Your mom plays professional basketball? In the WNBA, yes. No way. So you definitely don't come from money. Ah! 
I just did something your mom could never do. I dunked on your bitch ass, dog. <laughs> That was a low blow. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it was also such a layup, you know. Was your mom good? Yes. Would you say she was the Dykel Jordan of the WNBA? <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Did you get to go to a lot of games growing up? Yeah, I did. You sat courtside? Absolutely. Was it lonely? <laughs> we have to get out of here, you guys. We do because I have a, a fantasy WNBA team to go manage. <laughs> Why? Is this gonna be your first time jumping off the building? Yeah, man. How are you not scared? I'd rather get re-circumcised than do this jump right now, to be honest. This is the most scared I've ever been in my life. <laughs> oh my fucking God, dude. I know everything's gonna be okay. I know I'm gonna land safely. I know nothing's gonna go wrong. I know afterwards I'm gonna be very proud. My voice just cracked and that was very tired. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> You want me to like twist it? Stop fucking with it, Wes. It's so high. Oh my God. Like I'm so not ready for this. Come on. Yeah. 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 How you feeling, man? Terrified. Look at him. You're not doing stuff like this. Why are you even alive? <laughs> Ten out of ten. Do not recommend. I'm next. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy seeing a grown man nearly shit his pants? You guys have seen me on the Overnight Channel with my friends Elton and Corey, and they also run another channel called TFIL, also known as the Fuck It List, where they embark on these crazy adrenaline junkie-filled adventures across the world. And they have invited me to their trip to New Zealand, which is a country I've always wanted to go to. It's definitely on the bucket list, and the only terms and conditions were that I have to partake in a bunch of activities that make me wildly uncomfortable. So if you want to see me cry like a huge pussy, go like, subscribe, go to their channel. We are actually planting a tree for every subscriber that subscribes to the TFIL channel. So go check it out. We're releasing 20 episodes as part of this new series. I'm in about 14 to 15 of them. You're really going to enjoy it. I hated it more than anything, but it was also kind of the coolest trip of my entire life. So go check it out. You're really going to enjoy it. TFIL, New Zealand trip. Go check it out. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do work-wise? I uh, take care of my two younger brothers. You take care of your two younger brothers? What do you want to do after the kids are grown? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to school for forensic anthropology. You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would, like, look at dead bodies and figure out how to solve them. Did you get to the point in the school where you were, like, face-to-face -face with a dead body? No, I, don't, I quit going to school because I don't know. You wait, hold on. What I, would you rather I not repeat that? I don't care. She basically she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care, some self care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. She was, she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, Here, watch our other two kids. <laughs> Jesse, you're in no position. Oh my God. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. Would you be like in like the morgue? Is that where where, where, you, where like your work would take place? Could be. Ah, I also fucking... thought about doing like field work, so like going where the body is. Field work. Awesome. Not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> Field of work, maybe, but um, <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, don't put me in your note. <laughs> your lady. Nice. How long have you been together? A year? Oh, a year? Today's the anniversary? Get the fuck out of here! You wearing an I Love Lizzo shirt? <laughs> Lizzo's. There's multiple? 
girl. The big girls in general. For real? Interesting. What a hot fetish, dude. <laughs> I'm going to say this respectfully. <laughs> because it seems like it's what you're into. So purely complimentary. But you got you a good one, bro. You really do. She's fine as hell. I hope you know that. Now, are you into, is specifically bigger black women or is big women in general? Is that kind of like the overall? Like I, like, I like black women. You like black women more? Uh, what BLM rally did you guys meet at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys would have brought more black friends, this wouldn't be as awkward. I want you guys to know that right now. Y'all making it weird, okay? I'm just trying to get to know a lovely couple. Where did you guys meet? He has met in high school? No way. Now, uh, how did you guys get reconnected? Facebook. On Facebook? He was like, hey, saw you put on some way. <laughs> I feel like we've both grown as people, you know? And, uh, you know. I just remember the dick pic, he was like, can you? not the hand you use to hold it, was it? He said, can you work with that? And you were like, I guess. <laughs> like, I love charity work, why not? You know? Led with a dick pic, my boy. Hey, I, I be doing the same thing, man. Congratulations. Who, whose idea was it to come to the show? Me. It was your, yeah, he, he doesn't seem like he's happy with the decision. At all. He was like, we could have been at home using up all the cocoa butter and you could have been Damn, man. You guys are so cute. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't even get your names. Bianca. Bianca and Austin. Austin. Pleasure to meet you, man. Woo! Austin, what you do for work, man? Uh, what about you, Bianca? I'm a dental assistant. You're a dental assistant? Yeah. For real? Yeah. You work at a dentist's office here in Nashville? I travel. I actually travel from Kentucky to here with the endodontist. You're a traveling uh, dental assistant. Yeah. You were just in Kentucky. Not a lot of work to be done. No. <laughs> You guys don't have kids, do you? Yeah. You have kids? Uh, boy, and a boy and a girl. Were they also with a, a black woman? Yes. Nice, dude. <laughs> Were you married to that woman or you were just with her for a little while? I was married to her. You're married to her. When did you get divorced? Not legally yet. Not legally yet? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be black so bad. Joking, joking, God. You believe in crystals? No. Do you believe in like the universe and all that kind of stuff? Does Austin? No, you just love black holes. <laughs> I love your headpiece, man. I wanted to point that out and say much respect. That looks fucking awesome. What's your name, man? Chad. Chad, yeah, dude, just a fucking burly ass dude. <laughs> Is it, uh, is the, what, what is it called exactly? I want to be respectful. Oh, it's a turban. It's a turban? Yeah, gotcha. Seek. What's that? Seek. Seek. I thought that was a racial slur. That's the actual thing? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, great to meet you, Chad. We, what's under, you got Voldemort under there? What's underneath that? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Matt Reddit comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wanna buy a flight for September 11. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys, man. If we can't do some stereotypes, what are we doing, man? God damn it, I hate white people, Chad. I'd like to get rid of a few too. You know what I mean? I totally get it, bro. I really do. Too many of us. He's white? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What, what paint color would you say that is? What lavender? <laughs> bit of a bit of beige. Bomb beige. It's the last one, okay? God. Fucking hell, dude. You guys, you guys drove down from Kentucky for this? 
fuck, man, I'm so, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I'll, I'll come up there. Man, well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with you too much because everybody's being a fucking baby. Brother. Are you a father, Chad? I'm not. No, no kids yet? No. He said, thank God. <laughs> Which one? Sikh is is it a, is it a religion and ethnicity? Religion. It is religion. Like, what differentiates that from like Christianity? Like, what what are some cultural differences in that? But we do believe in reincarnation. Oh, reincarnation. Yeah. Is that all? Is that all based on karma? You think? <laughs> Fuck. Just in case, <laughs> can't risk it. <laughs> I didn't even ask you where you were. Uh, I, I flip houses. You flip houses? Mainly demolition? <laughs> Bro, I hate y'all so much, man. You guys aren't fun. You think you're cool and you're in with the group and you do one little thing, you're like, well, let's see if he laughs first. Fuck you guys, man. Like, Chad isn't my boy. God, God. Damn, man. Oh, if I had just the littlest bit of melanin, I would never fucking talk to you. <laughs> Chad, you've been such a good sport. You were such a good audience member, man. You're cool, you got a good energy, you got a good family with you. You laugh well. You got cuddly energy. Is he a big teddy bear? Chaddy bear. Chaddy bear. Aww. Gross. Just because I know y'all been laying there naked and sweaty, man. Like my little chatty bear. And he's like. Rrr. How far along are you? Seven months. Seven months? Oh my god, it's almost here. It fucking hurts, right? Yeah. Well, if you could compare like a guy having to go through, like what do you think we would have to go through to, to, to experience something like that? Like anal? Anal? <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, I would imagine. I don't think it's that's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before, you know. <laughs> that's basically anal. You know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this, this was light work. You know what I mean? Nothing, bro. <laughs> No. <laughs> Mila and... Umberto. Roberto. Roberto? Umberto. Umberto? Sure. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but okay. What about you, Umberto? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff. You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, I, I was just fucking around up here. Uh, it's a cool name. <laughs> You've never shot anybody? You shot in somebody. <laughs> does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that that's so dangerous? It does? If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead? Yeah. It's not, it, no, that, he could just be cheating. Like, it's not, it's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking... Oh, y'all read a book. I, I've got ESPN. <laughs> y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, you're making me scared. Don't do that. Jesus Christ. Especially in the dark. I can't even fight you back there, dog. It's... Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? What? You ain't a nigga, but act like one.
sad. I was given a script. I just played the part, okay? I want to thank the Academy. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> Bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? Hey, careful, dog. Careful. Do y'all watch Criminal Minds? One handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm Shawar Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and, I, and I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person. Like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching and me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt right. <laughs> Check this out. Then we're going to go meet the motherfucker, but you ain't going to fuck. <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like to see motherfuckers in here. And this, this young white boy, who wants to say nigga so bad? <laughs> because all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it, because he'll get cast. But when he comes to my house, I'm going to say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 nigga. The reason I'm here is because I've never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube, and I was like, you know, this motherfucker's funny, and he's pretty. And, and no, they were like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short, and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucking damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not Chef. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. But he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm gonna come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. So I'm gonna get off this stage, but I just wanna say, I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right. And whatever is in his heart, and with all, all his jokes, and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of dicks. Because I think he can handle himself. But my point is, let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. Go <laughs> stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. What? <laughs> Why did that sound like the whitest possible woman? I could have said that. <laughs> What'd you say? I have black Jesus. You have black Jesus? <laughs> you brought him with you? I hope he's related to you or this is gonna go terrible. Do you know him? Well, he came with me. <laughs> I'm sure slave owners use the same excuse. <laughs> like you can't. You can't just say it like that. 
We no, they they just came. They, they came with us. <laughs> you need to elaborate immediately. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, do you, you guys know each other, right? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? He's my adopted boy. He's your adopted boy. I don't like anything about this. <laughs> I, I really don't. I don't. I don't like that you purchased him. I don't. I don't like that you called him boy. I don't like any. I don't like any part of this. But he is your adopted son. You love him. This is good. Okay. This is a good turning point in the story. Like legally, you adopted him. His mom wouldn't let you, so you stole him. You know this doesn't sound good. He what? He likes you more than he likes his mom? I feel like you're making him say this. Where did, where did you meet this young man? Your son's high school. So you, you were at your son's high school and you were like, who's your little friend? The, 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 the one with a year-round tan. Who, who is that? Who is that? Who, who, who? You were t- by the staff? Your whole family? Smart family. <laughs> You're adorable, but I've, I've, I've seen the blind side too many times to know how the story really goes. Bro, bro what is your name? What is it? Brian. Brian? Uh-huh. Great to meet you, man. Are you okay? <laughs> he can talk for himself. <laughs> Brian, you snap your fingers. I'll get you the fuck out of here, man. I swear to God. I'm here for you, bro. I love your love for him. I do. But you gotta work on your story. <laughs> this is my son's friend, and we, we, we think of him as, as our own family. Well, that's good. That's a fantastic start. That's literally all the story you have to tell. This is my son's friend. They play baseball together, and we, we love having him around. Ta-da! <laughs> now, now, it's a, now it's a heartfelt story. You know what I mean? You can't just open it. We got us one. You can't. There's a more delicate way to go about the story. <laughs> Holy shit. You don't reiterate it because now it, it, it seems more guilty. I think, I think we wrapped up the story. It's your son's friend. Y'all love him. You, you, you consider him one of your own family. That seems simple enough. It's wonderful. Don't clap for kidnapping. What are you guys doing? I'm just trying to smooth it over so we can transition out of this. Oh, your mom needs a house. Come on. Thanks for rubbing me out, man. Oh. I'm here. I am your genie. I've been summoned, and now it's time to grant you a wish. You sure you're a genie? Because you look more like Ashton Kutcher. Uh, when you become a genie, you get to grant one wish, and mine was... To look like Ashton Kutcher? Why would you want to do that? It was the early 2000s, and it seemed like... What, th- look, this isn't about me. This is about you, so... What's your wish? Then obviously I'm going to no, wish for more that's wishes. Not, it doesn't work like that. You get It's one wish. I wish to go back in time, and I want to star in the hit comedy, Dude, Where's My Car? Alongside Ashton Kutcher. No, no, no. I'd, I'd be playing Ashton's role, but you know, make, make it funny. We can't go back in time. Because it could change the outcome of the future. That's... The Mandela effect. You're so right. Oh, such a good movie. What's your wish? I wish to go on a date with Mila Kunis. She's so cute. Oh! No. Oh! It's not going to happen, all right? Um, she's very happily married, and I'm pretty sure she's not into problematic fuckboys. Okay. Fine. Fine. <sighs>
Okay. I wish for a world tour bigger than anything I could have ever dreamed of. And I want it full, sold out with people from across the world who just want to come out, have a good time, and laugh. Can you give me that? Prepare yourself for the tour of a lifetime. Your wish is my command. Go! Thank you so much. You have no idea how badly I've always wanted this. Hey, man, no problem. Look, go, go pack. Get ready. It's time right. to go. Sorry. All right, I'm going to run to the store real quick. Uh, keys. Uh, dude, where's my... Uh... No, and then. You're good. You are good. Don't get canceled. That's what I love about this example is because if you think about the life of somebody in a wheelchair, that's fucking hard. It's a daily obstacle to overcome to do anything every day. And the fact that they can laugh their way through that, we should all be able to. That's what I have so much respect for the wheelchair community is because regardless of what they're going through, people in wheelchairs are never annoying about their situation until they're getting on the bus. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all have been stuck behind a city bus letting somebody in a wheelchair on, but it is fucking excruciating. You're behind them trying to make that right turn and they're fucking Put this motherfucker on the bike rack and let's go! That is the only time I have ever lost my patience on a handicapped person is when they're fucking up traffic, okay? Other than that, they're angels. <laughs> I was working on this joke when it was like brand new about like eight weeks ago, right? I was, I was in Arizona, so I'm working on it. I'm trying to make it the best it can be, and I can see out of the corner of my eye, front row, left side of the stage, is a young woman in a wheelchair. And... I can see, out of my peripheral vision, she's laughing her ass off. She, no, I'm serious, this girl is, she's slapping her knee. She can't feel it, but she's slapping her knee. Like, this bitch is rolling, you know what I mean? She's fucking, ah. ah you know how they be laughing, ah. ah. Handicapped people laugh like they're getting good head, just ah. ah. She's, She's so obviously having a great time, right? So when the joke was over, it, it dawned on me that I had a very unique opportunity to get an inside perspective on this material. And, and in order for a joke like this to work, it, it has to be funnier than it is offensive. And again, I want it to be. I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's, it's just jokes, man. That's, it's, it's as simple as that to me. But I'm always open to conversation. So when the joke was over, I asked her. I was like, out of curiosity, was anything I said in that joke offensive? And still laughing, this woman says, no, 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 no. It was, it was so fucking funny. And, and I want to thank you for including me. I had never, I had never, I had never realized that so many people were so uncomfortable around handicapped people that a lot of the times they won't even laugh about some of the same things they want to laugh about and things that they think are hilarious. So getting that confirmation is what gave me all the confidence I needed to know that these jokes are okay to tell and we are allowed to laugh at them, you know? Her and I... Her and I were on the same page the whole time. We both know that's what you do to vegetables. You roast them. <laughs> For that shit, I would never be your friend. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bro, then I fucked her. That's the crazy thing. It was after the show. Hey! 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 I'm not saying it was me, but she wasn't walking the next day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got a fucking cowboy hat in here. What's up, dude? 
Walking good. Oh, put that back on immediately. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking to a thumb. My yeah. bad. It's a good look for you, bro. I'm so jealous. I could never wear a cowboy hat, dude. I would I would look like Heath Ledger butt fucks me in a mountain, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, look, I look like I have a 10 gallon asshole. <laughs> like I could never pull off some shit like that. You don't have the head for it. I don't have the head for it? Oh, all this hair as I was getting in the way? Sorry. Sorry. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a cowboy job? I do. What do you do? I am an investor in ranching. You're an investor in ranching. Like the dressing? <laughs> or like farms and shit? Farms and shit. How do you invest in a ranch? Like you like what? What are some qualifications? You gotta have the intelligence to invest. In your <laughs> you just gotta sound like that. That's all you gotta do. So what are you looking to do? I tell you what. It's yours. It's yours. As much money as you want. <laughs> oh, man. Accent is so terrifying because, like, it's so endearing, but like, it feels like you could say the M word at any moment. I really could, dude. You're terrifying, bro. You're getting us in trouble. Getting who in trouble? Us men. Manly men. <laughs> First of all, check your tone, Doug Diggadone. <laughs> This is right. I'm trying to speak up for us, all right? I'm trying to help us out right now. There's nine of us in here. We need to unite, okay? You have weed right there? Can I have it? We don't smoke in Texas. Are you from Texas? Oh, that makes so much more sense, man. I thought you managed a fucking Texas roadhouse nearby or something. But you personally don't smoke? No, sir. Have you ever? You were drunk when you did it? Are you drunk now? Double or nothing. You wanna hit? Come on, man. Come on. I'm gonna toss it to you. Why you treat me like I'm a cop right now? You feel like, this is drugs I'm holding right now? And you wanna watch me do it? Now make sure you're hitting the right end of it. Don't fucking, don't suck on the USB cord. Oh shit, oh shit, hey stop, 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 stop. Oh no, oh no, no, no! no! I need you to sign a waiver immediately, dude. We just killed a guy, dude. That was way too much. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. You know you're still standing, right? We actually didn't get your name. What was it? Okay. You mean like THC? If your middle name is Henry, I'll lose it right now. Are you okay? Careful. What's your middle name, TC? Terry Cunningham, TC. Terry Cunningham. Real quick, what's your social security number? Who gave this to you? A stranger. <laughs> Who's from Texas? It's who you think's from Texas, man. Sit down, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm 65, she's 40. You're 65? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, may, we, we can hear you if you sit down. You don't have to keep doing squats, man. The last time somebody was up here like this talking to him, he was in prison. He had to be like, Your Honor, I actually want to have your one. The other wife was 35. <laughs> I want to. What's that? February the 7th, I turned 65. And she's 41. And 41? Where did you guys meet? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros? <laughs> I think he said he bought her, dude. <laughs> wow. Some Texas traditions never die. That's crazy. He said, I got a dating app. It's called Chase Bank, bitch. What you doing? <laughs> what, man? <laughs> 
I'm hung like a mule. <laughs> he said he's hung like a mule. <laughs> Ask me why. I'm 65. She's 41. Four questions ago I asked that. <laughs> Are you asking me why I think no. you deserve her? No. That's a deep You're question. Me why do I deserve a 41-year-old? No, I'm asking how you met. I didn't say deserve. It wasn't that deep at all. Hey, because you don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. What's up, man? Why are you standing like you're doing magic right now? <laughs> From the window! <laughs> the sweat brought down my balls! All these bitches come! All these deep motherfuckers! Hey, look how big this fucking drink is right here. Yeah, that looks like the shit you throw on a head coach after you win the Super Bowl, bro. Yours, yours is a different thing. That's a mule? No, that's a mule. <laughs> Sit down, CT! Hey, he no, nah, he's cool, he's cool, he's chilling, he's chilling, he's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. <laughs> Does your shirt say, build a bear my ass? <laughs> And there's another piece of paper underneath that says, squeaky titties ain't got nothing. <laughs> is there more? Goddamn, bitch, tweet me this. This is so much. Ain't got nothing on a purring pussy. Can you? Bitch, this is an essay. You guys can't see it. She's tearing away one paper at a time. Oh, you can see it. Oh, fantastic. Autograph my vagina. <laughs> Now that was fucking funny, her shirt says. The layer of jokes! Oh my god. What is your name? Dee Dee? Like double D? Wow, wow, wow. How old are you, Dee Dee? You're 60? Get the fuck out of here! That's why the font was so big, huh? She, she couldn't read her own shit. One of them said, autograph my pussy with your dick. You're 60, DD. Who else's name is on there? Fucking Hannes Wagner? Only the dudes get that as a baseball reference. He's very old, very old baseball player. How do you autograph a 60 year old's pussy? With like a feather and ink? What's that? What'd you say? The fuck? <laughs> calm that down, calm that down. Do you have a kitty noisemaker in your outfit? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> it's in your city? Shut up! <laughs> so you play, you're played into this. Even 60 year old pussy needs help making noise. That's a question. There might be some red flags for a guy. You say flip flops everywhere? We get on top of the beach? Beach is fine, but why are your dogs out at restaurant? Your dogs out at restaurant. Wow, hates dogs, everybody. This has been an experience you had. You went on a date with a guy and you wore flip flops to it. Yeah, there was a dude who was like a 10. He was a 10? He had all 10 toes? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> she go, he was a 10. He was Ivy League educated. He's a good looking guy. Has a great job. She was like, I'm about to trap this man. <laughs> and they showed up with flip flops and she went, uh, never mind. <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? If he's Ivy League educated, maybe he knows how big of a waste of money shoes are. <laughs> maybe he's like, I'm just out here all natural. Where'd you meet him? You went to high school together? He had shoes then. 
where do you go to school? Matter, matter Academy? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Sounds like he thinks shoes don't matter. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. I love how he had all these great things about him, and then she saw one little toe, and she flip-flopped on the entire relationship. Isn't that fucking crazy? The irony. Toes really turned you off that much? If there's an emergency, I can't run. First of all, if it's an emergency, he's not keeping the flip-flops on. She's worried that there's gonna be an active shooter, and then they're gonna be trying to sneak out the back, and he's gonna be like... <laughs> Oh my God. Or maybe he's more prepared than you think. So I know a lot of Latino women in here who could use a flip-flop as a fully functioning weapon. He's actually... He's actually concealed and carried. I mean, so prepared for anything. Oh my God. I think you give him another chance. I would love it before y'all fucked, he put on socks. Like, that would make it so much better. Are you actively like a socks have to be off in bed person, or are you like you don't care? It's not a deal breaker. Maybe it's feeder cult. This actually is a great time to plug you guys on my Shark Tank idea because I've never said this before. It, nobody fucking steal it. Because like, I'm, I'm a sock guy. Like I, I don't like my bare feet being out. I don't like, I don't like flip flops. So I am on your side on this. But my thing is, it's like if, if I'm about to have sex. I don't actively be like, oh, I gotta take my socks off. I keep them on a lot of times. It's just something I do. Hey, what gonna fuck y'all anyways? Okay, relax. Everybody in here, oh, whatever. You can have your fucking hooves out if you want. But I keep on, and for a couple of reasons. One, my feet are cold. And two, I keep them on for traction. <laughs> Which is what brings me to my pitch to you guys. I'm looking for a $900,000 investment on. Uh, do you guys know? You guys know hospital socks? You know how they have? You know, like they're wool. They have like the rubber on the bottom, right? I wanted to get my own like hospital socks with that rubber grip on the bottom, so that way you put them on right before you fuck, and it gives you a good, a good dig in, so that you can just fucking really put in work. And we call them sheet cleats. Y'all can keep all that sexy shit if you want to. I fuck a 424, okay? <laughs> Nobody steal that. It's a million dollar idea. <laughs> what? Is this a real thing? Keeping your socks on helps you come faster? No, it doesn't. That's so stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That is so fucking stupid. <laughs> hey, if that's what's holding me back. Is that a real statistic? Yeah, If you're too cold, the bedroom is harder to calm. I don't know, I feel like I could come faster than igloo. Like, ain't nobody stopping me. Talents. Did anybody ever dated somebody that was so religious that, like, you felt like it was kind of a hindrance to the relationship a little bit? Anybody? No? Nobody? Gay? Oh, you weren't going to heaven anyway, huh? <laughs> See you in hell, baby! Let's go! Dude, if hell's where all the gay people are at, sign me up! Bro, that's just about to be a party! Boyfriend? No? He's out of town. He's out of town? Well, who's this? <laughs> Mr. In Town. <laughs> How do you know this gentleman? My friend. Your friend? How do you guys know each other? Sports? <laughs> what sports you play? Flag football. Flag football? Without the L? <laughs> Come on, you guys. We're just having some fun. What is your name? Jordan. Jordan. Pleasure to meet you, Jordan. How? Do you know them? I met him in the men's restroom. You met him in the men's restroom? State your pronouns. 
You met the table full of women in the men's restroom? Hold it. Men are in there on soft, okay? It's a very vulnerable place. Has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now when you say a haunted house, you mean like a Halloween one or like no, a legitimate no, haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, oh those weren't ghosts. <laughs> much scarier and uh, they don't like shadow people either so I was going up to the house and there looked like there was an old man in the window I bet there was well, I turned around to tell my friends about it and I turned around and he was like gone and so I thought it was a ghost it, I just felt a very haunted feeling you all thinking I'm crazy or something but I didn't feel haunted okay? no they think you're racist they don't think you're racist I don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different, different thing to be ashamed of. It's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up. The ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't. I don't, I don't want. To, I don't want to negate. Frankenstein, scary guy. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. I'm defending you. You went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. <laughs> Boy up front. What, 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 if you had to choose, what would you say is, is, your, is your biggest fear? Scare of the dark too. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go. That's us, man. You and I. Nightlight gang. Is this your lady? Girl, just girlfriend? And did you know he was afraid of the dark? It was a learning experience. It was a learning experience. <laughs> because I know how this experience went down. He stayed over at her house and kept the TV on, and she was like, how long are you gonna watch this movie for? <laughs> he was like, till the sun comes up, bitch, you go to sleep, okay? <laughs> Do you know what your girl's biggest fear is? No, I don't. You don't know? Oh, man. Do you wanna fill him in? <laughs> Fish? <laughs> How do you think he feels? <laughs> and that's why you can't eat pussy in the dark. <laughs> Two fears coming together to make one. You guys are gonna be okay. Next time she acts up, dog, take this bitch to an aquarium. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, remember there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? Both of you. It's cute, but also manageable, you know? You don't work near the dark, do you? You don't work a night shift or anything? Where do you work, my boy? Law enforcement. Law enforcement? So you really hate the dark. You can beat his ass if you want to, man. And nobody gonna stop you. Not one person. It's our house tonight, all right? You can fuck him up, no consequences. <laughs> Sorry, you're just the only black dude within a hundred rows. So thank you very much, man. What was your name, bro? Sarge. Sarge, great to meet you. My Niagara. Appreciate you, Sarge. No gun. That's a walkie-talkie, all right? Chill the fuck out, fish boy.
ask you man to man, what, what would you say is your biggest fear? I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns either? Is, it, is this your lady you're with? Yes. Girlfriend, wife? Uh, fiance. fiance. Congratulations. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> how, how long have you guys been together? Three. Three years. And did you know he was afraid of clowns? <laughs> you didn't? And you've been wearing all this makeup the whole time. You didn't know he was that afraid of clowns. You were about to marry a man you didn't know you couldn't take to the circus. <laughs> Seems like vital information. Do you guys have kids? Five? God. Okay. Demon children. Demon children? One lives in your dad's house? Is that your sister? There's three spirits. One, one's a guy, one's a woman, and one's a child. One got murdered. One, <laughs> one got murdered. And one was a, a madam. And one's a, one was a madam. Sounds like your dad's running a whorehouse. Where does he live? I'm going to check out these demons. These semen demons. Some of these throat ghosts. <laughs> it attacked two of the two of the tenants. Did they not pay? That's how it works. That's how a brothel works. I don't think you need an exorcism. I think you need a pimp. Somebody to keep shit in order. You know. No, that's actually not how it works. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If you want to write the show for me, you can do it. Not how it works. And this is, a, this, is a, this is a super funny common thing. People come to the show and they think because they just see crowd work online that that's like literally all the show is. Wrong. No. It's a very small portion. And I've actually never really had a chance to explain this on stage. The reason I, I, don't, get, I don't really get annoyed about that unless you keep doing it. Um, because I'm, I'm a lot of people's like first experience at a comedy show. I, I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Who here has never been to a comedy show before? <laughs> See? See, a lot of people have no idea how it works. So the reason I post crowd work stuff is because you're coming to see me, right? And how comedy works is you, you for, for a year, sometimes two, three years, you work on building an hour long set of material, right? But when you do that, it takes so long to do that. So imagine if I posted the same jokes you'd already just seen. You'd be pretty pissed off if you just paid to see the exact same jokes you saw online, right? So crowd work is something that can't really be duplicated. So it's something that happens uniquely at each individual show. I get to share that experience. And you get to go, oh, he's funny. What else does he have? We'll go see him in fucking Salem. That's how it works. So we already did a little bit of crowd work. We'll see what happens later. If you can afford front row seats next time, maybe you'll be the one. With five kids too? God damn, man. Y'all should be in the back back, dog. Providing for a whole family out here. What do you do, by the way? Do you work, are you a mom? You're a massage therapist? Okay. Sounds like you work at her dad's house. <laughs> there, we did some crowd work. You're single? No. You're married? Yeah. Where the fuck's your wedding ring? Why? <laughs> You're gonna lose it. No, I say. <laughs> Why is it in your pocket? Why is it on your finger? Oh, these, oh, these men with the, oh, I don't like having a little ring on my finger. It hurts my finger. Yo, men are trash. Men are straight up trash. Next time I really tried to date, I was in the sixth grade. And uh, the problem is, is that, and I also don't know why I look like this was taken in a hostage situation. <laughs> but it does.
how, how old are you? 67. Hold on, mom. What's, what's your name, mom? Sue. Sue? Sue? Who told you about OnlyFans? The daughter? What's your link? You sell feet pics? Do, do you actually sell feet pics? I should. I got teenage daughters, so I should. What? Oh, for the money. I, oh, okay. I, uh, I thought you meant like a collab, but I was like, that's. That's not cool, but probably profitable. Your grandkids love me. Your grandkids love me? Oh, how, how old are the grandkids? 14 and 17. That's terrible parenting. That's, they should not know who I am at all. Man, why would you lie to them? That is, that's what they're going to get their hopes. Of. Where's, where, are their, where are their dads? Or dad, it could, it could be single, right? I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even mean it like that, you fucking assholes. It was accidental, you guys made her a whore, not me. <laughs> so he's at home with the kids right now. I like that, I like a, a good mom's night out. That's so cute. I didn't ask, I didn't ask though, 67, is anybody older than 67? On Earth? No one's good. <laughs> Anybody? If you if you had any advice to give to, to everybody in here with good knees. <laughs> that was that sucked, so that sucked a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know what? How would you feel if I put that on your tombstone? How would you feel? You'd be like you'd be like not a lot of work put into that. I was looking for some life altering advice. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, it's almost time for you to wake up. <laughs> no, it's 11:30. It is almost time for you to go to bed. Forever. So he just pretends he doesn't. He hasn't talked in three years. Listen, he pretends I'm the I'm a dirty, dirty stripper. Stripper. That you're them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's your door. That's your door. She's your dirty, dirty door, door. Oh no, step door. Okay. Is it better the other way? Is it better for the like a woman to look like this beautiful lady right here, but have a dick, <laughs> or to be this like burly ass dude with a pussy? <laughs> Like, if you had to choose, <laughs> would you rather <laughs> smash the beautiful woman with the dick <laughs> or, like, the dude with the, like, super tight pussy? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's the best pussy you ever had. You can be like, dude! <laughs> can he grow his hair out a little? <laughs> no. Damn, man! As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we make it in this dude. <laughs> he bald and burly. I would wax that ass, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, you're so mad. I'm sorry. So mad, dude. He looks like he's gonna repo your car, dude. <laughs> uh, man, every time I look at you, I see a pussy. <laughs> sorry. Keep looking down like the pants are tight. I don't know. I'm like skinny jeans. <laughs> your wife is your wife. Oh, uh, she's gonna be making fun of you now. You gotta be having sex tonight. I like how your pussy feels. <laughs> please do that. Please, just one time. When he's hitting it from the back, you just be like, oh, that pussy is nice. <laughs> you have to do that. Probably the oldest person in here. Do we think? 51. 50, is 51 to? There's a 54. Right here. No. Is that 52? He said 52. Yeah, that's less. <laughs> We're looking for more. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, did he not hear me? <laughs> when I asked who was older. What is your name? Bob. What is it? Bob. Bob. 
Great to meet you, Bob. Not Robert, Bob. Oh, you have an accent. Where, where are you from? England. Yeah. Is anybody else not from here? Like country-wise. That sounded fake. That sounded like a white person pretending to be a Mexican. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Who said that? Nice, man. How about Alabama? It might as well be a different country, huh? <laughs> man, they say Alabama people are dumb. They didn't say you couldn't even read the room. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what, what is your name, sir? What? <laughs> Hold on. Mom, what is it? Rael. Rael? Uh -huh. Nobody can pronounce it. Just did. <laughs> What's that? I'm 41. For I didn't even ask you, dog. I'm not. I'm not the police, dog. Like, you don't need to. Just, you don't need to start just giving me information. Like, I, I, when, when did you come up here? 25 years ago? For, for, for what reason specifically? I got brought here. You got, you got what? You got brought here? <laughs> Guys! I thought we stopped doing that. <laughs> Not okay, Portland. Not okay. Man, they brought you here to run the only Taco Bell in the city. <laughs> They're like, it's gotta be authentic. Gotta be. <laughs> Who brought you here, man? Not my parents. Oh, dude! <laughs> you gotta say that! <laughs> I thought you were napped. <laughs> I don't know how old he was, but I don't know if he was a kid or not, still would have happened, but he'd still be napped. Do you go, do you go back home to, to Mexico often? That's fair. I've been to Mexico a few times. It's, it's run by dogs. Dude, if you've ever been to Mexico, it's nothing but stray dogs and one kind of car. What do you, like, what, what is something you would love to do? If you could do anything in the entire world to celebrate your retirement, like, what would you do? I don't know, have more dogs. Okay. Did you say have more dogs? I told you dogs run that fucking country. <laughs> that Sarah McLaughlin commercial was a goddamn campaign over there, dude. <laughs> right, that's the cutest fucking thing I'd ever heard. Oh, man. Hawaii is fucking awesome. Yeah. Rael, have you been to Hawaii? Never. You what? I can blend in. As long as you don't talk, yeah. <laughs> 100%. Real, real question. If you had to be made love to. Would you rather you would get you? a stranger? It could be any. It could. It could be that dude. It could be that. Okay, we take another dude. <laughs> it's it's Rael. It's... Oh, Rael? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. He's in Spain. He's in a good breakfast in the morning. Rael would suck your dick with tahini on it, dog. That should be. That would be crazy. <laughs> but if you had to, uh, if you would you rather be made love to by either a stranger on the streets of Portland <laughs> forcing themselves upon you, or if it was me, which would be more uncomfortable? I'm your boy. Portland, Portland, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, and, and, and am, I, am I the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> the in in both cases? Yeah. In both cases I'm the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ronald, how big is your penis? <laughs> we all waited. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, dude? We all waited for him to say how big his dick was. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? man? I don't know, 
bro, I feel like if you fuck me. <laughs> and I would. No, but the thing is, bro, like, you would always, like, hang that shit over my head. That's how I would do it. <laughs> well, let me ask you that same question. That's not fun. Come up with your own. No! Yeah, man. <laughs> man, if you were, if you were to uh, have sex talk, Okay. By either a stranger on the street nah, don't do it. or the British dude over there. Oh, that dude for sure. Oh, yeah. Fun facts. Fun fact. When a British dude comes inside you, it's called a shepherd's pie. <laughs> oh, that's, that's bloody well good, isn't it? That's bloody well good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in it. It's in it. It's in it. I was trying to figure out how to put Brex in there, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm still thinking. I can't. I'll think. I'll think of something. You, that's, will, that's you will. Yeah. Oh, so that's can I talk about? Oh, she's not here. I'm wish, wish she gets back on top of this. You guys call him Danny Wright. That's insane. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> His hair took a Brexit. <laughs> Hi. Did your date leave you? What happened? Oh no. Are you like dating? How long? Yeah, one year. I love the audience is like, mm, what do we think? How old are you? 33. <laughs> your ovaries are shrinking. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm just kidding, it's fun. 33 for a guy is like a baby. Okay. <laughs> oh no, well when you were gone, I did kind of like ask him what was going on and we all like made fun of him and laughed at him. <laughs> but he was a really good sport about it. But he basically was like, I love her so much, I don't know how to propose. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to give him strategy. He was like, do I do it at like the Statue of Liberty tomorrow? Like, what do I do? <laughs> And I was like, her nails are done beautifully right now. Chrome, look at them. So anyway, I'll let you guys talk about that tonight, whatever you want. First off, no, you're not at church. I am sorry, but I know what I look like, okay? I'm acutely aware. If I come up here with an acoustic guitar, it's over. Yeah. How great is our God? Like, you can, you guys can see it, and I, I get it. Do you have any other tattoos? Uh, I got a few, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite one? Uh, probably... Take your time. <laughs> you know the Spotify one. Spotify. Yeah, you got your phone on you? Bring out the phone. You got Spotify. <laughs> is it a QR code? It is. What? <laughs> no way. Okay, so uh, let's see if you scan it over it. Right oh, it's over a sound wave. Oh, yeah. here we go. It's tearing up my Wow. That is fucking awesome. That that is one of the better tattoos I've ever seen. Thank you. Man, the only thing that could be better than that is, bro, if you had a swastika on the other arm. Because here's the thing, we all love him, but we'd be so conflicted, wouldn't we? If he was a Nazi this whole time, <gasps> you don't have any hair. I'm not making a ball joke, I'm making a Nazi joke. <laughs> What a dilemma we would have. Man, if he hated black people but loved NSYNC, you guys wouldn't know what to do. Are you single? Uh, about to be. 
about to be? You getting divorced? Nice, man. Does she like the tattoo? No. She doesn't like it? I hope this bitch dies. I, so much I hope you get the house. I hope you get the dog. I hope you get, do you have kids? Stepkids, are Step kids? I hope she has to keep those kids. <laughs> Man. This is just your, your boy, Blake? Yep. What's your name, dog? Joshua. Joshua, pleasure to meet you. You got some ink, too, man. What's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite song or tattoo? No, no, so I'm sorry. Favorite tattoo? Thundercats. Your what? Thundercats. You got Thundercats on your leg? Yes. That is awesome and super lame at the same time. <laughs> you got it right down the middle, too. Because they were supposed to be Transformers. You were going to get Transformers on the other side? Man, I feel like me talking about pussy earlier is as close as you've gotten, man. <laughs> Dude. Thundercats and Transformer? <laughs> Bro, how much money... Like, real talk. All right. How much money to get you to tattoo the sound bite <laughs> of this bitch's laugh? <laughs> talk to me for real. Like, I'm in sales. I gotta know what's on the table here. Like, what are we offering? You, all right, you're in sales. You're wondering what I'm offering you? I'll show your friend what titties look like. <laughs> Be a good friend, dog. <laughs> How much money to kill her? How much? <laughs> Talk to me for real, okay? Hear me out. Two titties. You can have a half hour in the bathroom and we'll talk. Half hour? You think you're gonna last half an hour? Man, that'd be rude as fuck. You buy, you buy your friend a prostitute but he, for the hour and like two minutes in he comes out and he's like, all right. I'd be so fucking mad. Like, you know, you get in there and you learn that young woman's life. You ever seen Thundercats? <laughs> yeah, no, it was gonna be Transformers. <laughs> What's that one? You made this one? I did. Now, wait, hold on, hold on a second. Now, relax. I don't know where his mouth has been. <laughs> I know where it hasn't been. And some tits, you need both. All right, so here's the scenario. You meet the girl of your life, she only got one tit. What you doing? <laughs> she come to here like, yo, I'm mono tit, bitch. What's up? <laughs> you gotta run? <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, man. Not one. Is that your girl? Yes, Break up with him. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, dude. She gets in like a cut off a tit accident in your foot. She goes to like Damon Buster, she just gets too close to something, like, and then she comes home. And she's like, I got some news to tell you. Remember that one time at a comedy show? <laughs> Whenever I go home for Christmas, I, uh, I stay with my grandpa. And I love my grandpa to death. He's probably the closest person to me and my family. And I, I love staying with him because whenever I'm not there, he, he lives by himself. And my grandpa has lived alone for like 15 years, he's been single. 15 years. Hasn't been on a date in 15 years. I, yeah, as you can imagine, carpal tunnel's on its way. And because he's lived alone for so long, he's kind of become this like crotchety, grumpy old man. Like, he doesn't like anything or anybody just complains all day long. You all know an old person like this. So he, he's always the hardest person to shop for for Christmas every year. So two years ago, it's mid-December, right? I'm, I'm at my place in LA, I'm getting ready to go home, you know, finishing up all my online shopping, and it, it gets down to him every year. I'm sitting there just racking my brain. I'm like, what the fuck do I get this to? He, he, he doesn't like anything. He, he doesn't like anybody. He doesn't have anybody. So I bought him a pocket pussy. 
Um, <laughs> No, normally, normally I would be like, does anybody not know what a pocket pussy is? But this is Sixth Street. Y'all be fucking banana peels or whatever y'all can find out here. Y'all in no position to judge my family, okay? Bro, I just wish y'all could have been there to see him open it on Christmas morning. Because we all thought he was going to be like, what the fuck is this shit? But he was like, thank you. This is exactly what I needed. I was like, it's a, it's a fleshlight, not a purple heart, dog. Relax, okay? Stop feeling so honored. He loved it, man. So obviously Christmas is a good time. And then we fast forward a little bit. Now we fast forward to that following February. And I hadn't spoken to my grandpa since Christmas. So I call him up. Hey, Steve. Steven. What's up, man? How you, how you doing? I, I love you. I miss you. you know, Christmas was fun. It's always good to spend the holidays with you, you know? How was it? <laughs> and there was just a silence on his end of the phone. I was like, are you using it right now? Like, fucking answer me, dog. Like, what's, what's the review? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. He goes, no, 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 no. He gets all defensive. And I'll never forget these words for as long as I live. He goes, no, 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 no. I, uh... I broke her neck. <laughs> there is so much to unpack in that one sentence. First of all, her? You gave it a pronoun, now it's real. Second, neck? That's not even what it is. <laughs> and third, you broke it, dog. How hard are you going? Fucking 15 years, you forget how to be a gentleman? <laughs> So we, we, we laugh on the phone for a couple of hours and that, now we fast forward to the following Christmas. This, this is last Christmas. Again, same time of year, going home, finishing up shopping. Gets down to him. So now I'm really struggling. I'm like, what the fuck do I get him this year? Like, like how do I possibly top what I did last year? You know, clearly he enjoyed it. And now my man hasn't had pussy since at least February. So uh, I doubled down, got him another one. I got him two pocket pussies, two Christmases in a row. I'm grandson of the decade, easily. Only, well, you know, you know, obviously I was a little bit more aware of what it was going to be put through this time around. I had to find him one more durable, right? You know, some, something with a stronger neck. Now, now I'm out here trying to find a pocket pussy with traps. Trying to find my papa a trap queen for Christmas. And I fucking... I couldn't, find, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. I was so mad. And then I, I, I think I found the next best thing. I, I found this other pocket pussy that I've, I've never seen anything like it. It was remarkable. It, it, it came with, it was like so souped up. It, it came with all these like attachments and, and pieces. It, it was like a Swiss army pussy. It had like a compass and a can opener. And it doubles as a canteen if you're lost in the woods, I guess. But by far the best attachment this thing came with was that like if you if, if you like let's say you fuck this side of it right like this is the entrance this side of it is a suction cup the idea being you can fucking put it to walls and shit if you need to I don't know switch positions work your legs you know whatever it is you feel like you need it added to your repertoire, you know? And I, I got it for him thinking like, oh, this is so creative, you know what I mean? Now my man's got free roam in the house. You know, he's not, he's not bed bound beating his dick like a pilgrim. He's got options, you know what I mean? So I was excited for him, but now I'm fucking terrified to go home this Christmas and there's just gonna be chunks of drywall missing all around the house, waist level. Doing a bit of remodeling, are we? His house looks like a mid-demo project. I'm like, God damn, Papa, you literally fucked from the window to the wall. <laughs> Got your dick sucked down the hall. Oh, Steve, 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 Steve. Uh, he's disgusting. But he's funny, man. He's very funny. I called him about a month ago, and I, I told him I was going to start telling this story on stage, because it's 100% true, and I think the world should know that. 
And he, he's got such a good sense of humor, man. He was joking with me back. He was like, you keep telling people that story. I'm going to leave it to you in my will. <laughs> Which I think would be fucking hilarious. I told him. I was like, yo, you should do that. Because I'll fucking, I'll put your ashes in it, name it Ashley, and then I'll fuck it. Just kind of keep it in the family. You know what I mean? Just from generation to generation. Just so he can meet his great grandkids, you know? Just... Guys, it's called cremation. Grow up. Okay, we'll be. Grow up. Sex is not consistently as good as society makes it seem. Think about it. There's women here, right? Have you guys ever um, lost your virginity? <laughs> Me and you, girl. I did once. And um, I'm sorry I just unearthed such a dark memory that you guys have been suppressing, but... One day, you're living life, everyone's like, oh, sex is amazing, everyone's doing it, it creates life, you have crazy orgasms. And then a guy with a shrimp dick rips open your hymen, and you're the town hoe. I just graduated college. You're telling me boys, that, you're telling me boys in college know how to find the butt? Well, that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What are you getting your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice? What do you want to do with that? FBI, CIA, for real? Are you gonna find the clip? <laughs> I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. Where do you know this guy from? We actually met in college. She makes with my ex-boyfriend. Right, now, are you two better friends than you and then, than her ex and you are at this point? Correct. We ditched him. Oh, you get both of you guys aren't friends with that guy. Crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic. And a mascot. A mascot? A mascot. What was the mascot? The Mavericks, the Bulls. And he loved that so much that he graduated, became the mascot for the Omaha Beef. He's like a football team here. The Omaha Beef? <laughs> there's no way there's a team called the Omaha Beef. Indoor football team. Indoor football? Like lingerie? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha beef. I really an indoor football team. I hope there's I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> Do you know Tanner? You work with him? Are you the beef curtains mascot? He moved to Texas now? He just took a professional mascot job. He took a professional mascot job? <laughs> Where? It's, he wouldn't say, but it's like minor league something. Minor leagues? I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? <laughs> You slept with a pilot? Yeah. By like Spirit Airlines? Or like, or like Navy Jet pilot? pilot. Like Air Force. Air Force? Southwest. Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at college. Oh, yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's like in the process, he's still gotta graduate. He's not even a pilot? So you haven't <laughs> fucked a pilot. <laughs> You fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. <laughs> you said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? American. It's my airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. <laughs> and why didn't it work out? Would you say he's plain? <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. What the fuck are you? What was your mama? Hippopotamus? There's no way! You're a human being! Yeah. You came out? Damn, your mom's vagina is fucked up! You came out of here! Taking Bill Gordon. Holy shit! You like if a hover became a part only work out with black dudes.
dudes. <laughs> Exclusively. Because black dudes will push you to your limits whether you want to or not. I started about six months ago, man. I was in the gym one day and I was having a bad day. I was, I was stressed about something. I was angry about something. And I was like, man, fuck this. I'm, I'm going to use this negative as a positive. I'm going to use this aggression. I'm going to put up some weight. And I was hitting a chest day. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to hit a new max on the, on the bench press. You're supposed to have a... Um, spotter. Sp yeah, 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 spotter so you don't die. <laughs> and... I didn't know anybody in there at the time. Closest person to me was the black dude at the bench next to me. So I walked over. I was like, hey, man, would you, uh, would you mind spotting me for this set real quick? And he was like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I was like, I feel like you do. <laughs> Everything about your voice is safe. I feel like I can lift the world now. Okay, come on. So we, so we go over to the bench together. He, he gets behind the rack in the spot position. He's ready. I lay down, and I'm... Get it off the rack. Oh, I get one rep in. Oh, I get two reps in. I get, I, I get stuck on the third. My, my, my arms start shaking. And he can see this. So like any good spotter, he has some words of encouragement. I'm trying not to die. And this man just gets in my ear and do that shit do that shit it ain't nothing I was like ah. I said I, I don't know man I'm, I'm getting kind of tired he was like my people been tired I was like god damn like 255 you had white guilt on top of that's like 500 pounds man i was like is this pre-workout or a history lesson what are we doing dog <laughs> so that's my new routine whenever somebody's like you look good matt you want a diet i'm like yeah it's called white watchers you should try it so, <laughs> so when black people watch white people struggle you will sweat i promise you